Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video we have episode number 14 of Bordeaux Vineyard International Airport. This is the airport update for the month of July. Um, so yeah, so before we start I do have a little bit of news uh, both regarding the airport uh, and my personal life. So to start off I'm going to start with my personal life. So I have finally finished my baccalaureate. Uh, and I got the results and I did get my back, so this is great news. Um, so uh, basically, uh, school is done for now. Um, so yeah, so that is basically all for my personal life. Uh, just yeah, the school is finally over, I am finally 100% on holiday. Uh, and um, uh, I will be able to concentrate for an entire year uh, on this channel. Um, so yeah, so um, now uh, let's get into the uh, airport news. Um, so uh, before we start, as you can see around the airport, it is a little bit messy and that is because I am still uh, building my second airport, uh, which is a, a UK project. Um, so yeah, uh, so to start off, so with the actual airport news, so as you can see the airport is using runway 21 uh, and so I personally did that because uh, obviously uh, on this channel I have yet to uh, try out this like configuration uh, in every single video, they've always been taking off and landing on 03. So I decided to mix it up a little bit. Um, so yeah, uh, and so regarding uh, actual airport news, uh, nothing has really gone on since uh, last time. Uh, obviously we have had quite a lot of uh, um, summer route expansions uh, from multiple um, uh, airlines such as uh, Asian, TUI, um, Air France, EasyJet, Ryanair uh, and various uh, holiday, um, holiday airlines. Uh, as well as that, you will see um, in this airport update, but British Airways have uh, increased their number of flights per day uh, and they have also uh, brought in a, a new type of aircraft for the first time in this airport update. Um, and so yeah, so uh, without further ado, we are going to get straight into the airport update. And so to start off as usual at Terminal 1, uh, so on the right hand side of your screen we have the Lufthansa CRJ-900 uh, He is currently holding position and he is letting the uh, Air France uh, park uh, He uh, will be departing out to Munich today uh, And then on the left the uh, Air France A320 uh, is uh, as I said uh, parking uh, He just arrived from a flight from Nice uh, in France uh, And so as I said uh, Air France uh, along with other airlines have started to expand their um, uh, holiday route network uh, and so uh, loads of the demands for um, uh, towns uh, in France uh, on the Mediterranean coast so including Nice uh, have increased uh, and so yeah so this Air France has just arrived from Nice and then next up we do have this British Airways A321 Neo uh, he just arrived from uh, London Heathrow uh, about um, 20 minutes ago and he will be heading back out to Heathrow in about 40 minutes and now as I mentioned um, British Airways have increased their numbers of flights and with that they have brought in a new aircraft type uh, and so it is the A321 Neo and then next up we do have this KLM Boeing 737-700 uh, this aircraft arrived from Amsterdam uh, about half an hour ago and he will be heading back out to Amsterdam uh, in about 20 minutes uh, so nothing new with KLM um, still the regular uh, Amsterdam and Groningen um, operations uh, and uh, still using the 737-700 uh, so yeah so nothing new with uh, KLM and then next up we do have this EVA Air Boeing 777-300ER and as you can see this aircraft is being pushed back he is on the Bangkok rotation today uh, and so he will be heading out to Bangkok and then next up we do have a pretty neat uh, three aircraft lineup so at the bottom of your screen we have the EasyJet uh, A320 uh, dash 200 uh, this aircraft is on the classic London Gatwick rotation uh, and so he is currently taxiing to the runway uh, for its flight to Gatwick uh, in the middle of your screen we have the uh, Saudi Arabia Boeing 787-10 uh, this aircraft is currently being serviced uh, and he is operating the Jeddah rotation 
today, so he should be departing uh, in about uh, between an hour and an hour and 10 minutes. And then at the top of your screen, we have the Qatar Airways Boeing 787-9. This aircraft just arrived 10 minutes ago in from Doha, and in about uh, two and a half hours, he will be heading back out to Doha. Next up, we do have this Air Caraib AC30-300. Uh, this aircraft is currently uh, taxiing to the runway. Uh, he is currently operating the uh, Pointe-à-Pitre rotation. So Pointe-à-Pitre is the capital city of Guadeloupe, which is a, um, uh, a, uh, a French uh, territory uh, in the Caribbean. Uh, and so yeah, so as I said, he is currently taxiing to the runway. Uh, he is currently holding short, same as the EasyJet on the right, because they are both landing by uh, a, a, another aircraft. Uh, but then, uh, yeah, uh, the Air Cave will resume its taxi to the runway for its flight to Pont-à-Pitre. And so this is the aircraft that both the Air Caraib and EasyJet are letting by. It is the China Airlines AC50-900. As you can see, he is taxiing off of the runway. He just landed in from Hong Kong. Uh, and uh, he will be taxiing to its gate, so he'll be turning left following the Ryanair on the left. Uh, he will be turning left and he will be... Uh, heading to his gate and then later on in the day he will be heading out to Beijing. Next up we do have this Ryanair Boeing 737-800. Uh, this aircraft is currently uh, heading to the uh, runway uh, and he will be up he is currently operating a flight to Malaga. And then next up we do have a two aircraft lineup. So on the right hand side of your screen we do have the Asian uh, AC20-200, he is on the Athens rotation and he just arrived from Athens uh, about 15 minutes ago and he will be heading back out to Athens uh, in about 45 minutes. Uh, and then to the left of your screen we have the uh, TUI 737-800, uh, this aircraft is actually operating a recently added route um, which is a, a route to uh, Skiatos in uh, Greece. Uh, and so uh, TUI have uh, started to operate this air this uh, flight sorry, um, practically daily or like once every other day. Uh, and so this aircraft is just waiting for the Air Caraib to get out of the way and then he will be pushing back. Uh, and as I said, heading out to Skiatos. And then next up for the two last aircraft of this airport update. On the left hand side of the screen we have the EasyJet A321 Neo. Uh, this aircraft uh, is heading out to uh, Milan. And so as you can see uh, it is getting serviced. Uh, not heavily but quite heavily as it is getting a little bit late. Uh, it, it does have a 5 minute um, a delay which isn't that bad and it should make up the delay. Uh, in the air, uh, but nonetheless the crew is trying to get the aircraft uh, on time or as close to on time as possible. And then on the right hand side of your screen we do have the Air France uh, A220-300. Uh, this aircraft is just undergoing some uh, standard maintenance. Uh, now I do know that usually maintenance is done uh, uh, within hangars, uh, but um, currently in this uh, fictional world uh, the hangars are currently um, all um, used up and so uh, since it was a regular just checkup maintenance uh, they decided to do it on a remote stand uh, and so the aircraft should be up and running uh, within the week uh, and uh, yeah resuming uh, regular services and so that does conclude this airport update i really hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye